السلام عليكم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم I'm Professor Naman Nafi Alhamdani and I will give you a lecture about the history checking and tips in neonatal examination for the fifth year student and and first we should taking the history from new, uh, for the neonate we should take the history for, of the mother a history of the mother for any illnesses before being pregnant like diabetes hypertension or other conditions you have to take previous obstetric history whether the mother is gravid the, uh, the first pregnancy or she is multi so she, she, should, she should be gravid uh, what are the number of pregnancies and parity and any uh, previous abortions and details and any previous neonatal deaths or major uh, uh, morbidities and then uh, we should take history of this pregnancy from the mother so the maternal history uh, including the antenatal history during pregnancy uh, any antenatal visit investigations during pregnancy fetal growth assessment uh, parents blood group and RH any fever, rash, or lymphadenopathy pregnancy, which might indicate congenital infections, any chronic illnesses during pregnancy, like diabetes, hypertension, and other, and then any history of exposure to radiation, uh, and not simply chest X ray or other, history of exposure to radiation, like CT scan, like uh, IVP, like radiation to the thyroid, for example, and then history of drug taking, and some drugs are safe, some other contraindicated during pregnancy history of leaking lichen and what's the color of the lichen and the duration of leaking if it's more, more than 18 hours or more than 24 hours they are significant as risk factor, risk factor for early neonatal sepsis then any history of uh, doing ultrasound early in pregnancy or later and what's the duration of uh, labor is it uh, normal or it is delayed or prolonged labor or obstructed labor and so on and then uh, a maternal history include also intrapartum or prepartum history uh, history of the delivery itself what's the gestational age when the baby is uh, when the baby is delivered delivery is it spontaneous normal vaginal delivery or induced vaginal delivery or cesarean section any drugs or anesthesia used during delivery condition at birth uh, including uh, abgar score and any need for station and what's the color of the baby, the tone of the baby, and uh, uh, cry, and uh, whether he's breathing or not is important. And the birth weight is important also for calculations of drugs and fluids. Vitamin K, whether given or not, should be given as a routine before any newborn, whether term or preterm. And admission to the nursery or to the neonatal care unit or intensive care unit. And then what intervention the patient took. It was given when he was admitted as oxygen, as a gastric feeding, phototherapy, or antibiotics. And then the postnatal history uh, f uh, of the baby from birth till 28 days old, uh, including the time of passage of meconium and urine, and this is important if it is delayed. Feeding method, breast or bottle or mixed feeding, and the method of sterilization is important. Of how many feeds per 24 hours, how many uh, ounces per uh, PR feed is are all, all important. F uh, any history of postnatal fever, jaundice, scissors. Uh, what's the type of sleep? Is there any um, uh, continuous crying or normal sleeping and so on? Uh, and the babies, uh, nappies, whether they are dry all the time or they are wet, uh, indicating good urine output or decreased urine output. The growth and development is important. And then other parts of the history, like uh, history taken for the, for the infants uh, and older children, including chief complaint, duration, history of present illness, review of systems, feeding history, as we've mentioned, the immunization, the family history, and social history are all important. Then uh, from the history uh, taken above, we should address any concern in the history and start doing examination. So in the tips of the examination, uh, we, uh, I just want to tell you that uh, you should return back to the uh, first uh, lecture 
I already gave you about neonatal examination and you will look, you could find detailed text and uh, uh, pictures. So we are giving now just tips for neonatal examination during the Dabgar score, which is immediately, immediately done at one and five minutes. And then we do uh, vital signs, uh, assessment and measurement like temperature, heart rate, respiratory rate, and blood pressure in a sick babies. Assessment of gestational age by uh, prenatally by the obstetrician and then postnatally by the pediatrician and neonatologist. Uh, and by neonatologist, either a neonatologist or uh, by rapid delivery room assessment or by a detailed new ballad scoring system. And from the new ballad score system, we'll assess the gestational age and classify the babies uh, according to the gestational age, either are a preterm or term or post term. And then after the uh, uh, assessment of gestational age, we'll, and taking the weight length at the OFC, we put the birth weight length, uh, length, the weight and the head circumference against the gestational age and on a growth chart, we will classify the babies accordingly, the, whether they are large for gestational age, appropriate for gestational age, small for gestational age babies. Then uh, we proceed to general examination of newborn by observing his interaction with the caregiver. Uh, uh, we should look for the alertness of the baby, the general color, whether he's centrally cyanosed and periphery or just peripheral cyanosis or pink all over, and the tone of the baby, the uh, crying of the baby, and then any signs of dysmorphic features. Uh, we inspect the skin's, uh, skin all over, uh, and we already take the weight, length, and OFC. And then we proceed to systemic head to toe examination. Then, uh, in details, skin examination of neonates is important, and uh, including the color. The color could be, there might be normal color, or there might be blithera, jaundice, pallor, cyanosis, which could be central or peripheral cyanosis, or acrocyanosis, or ecchymosis. Other parts of this uh, examination of the skin, including looking for rashes. Where the rashes could be Melia could be erythema toxicum, could be acne neonatorum, neonatal postular melanosis, herpes simplex, and candida advocans are called napkin dermatitis. And then we look to, to the nevi in the skin, where, which could be macular hemangioma, or port wine stain, or cavernous hemangioma, or strawberry, hem strawberry hemangioma, or a, a Mongolian spot, which is the most common uh, birthmark in neonates. Then we proceed to examination of the head and neck. The head including the anterior posterior fontanel, the scalp, the skull molding, the caput succedinum, kefir hematoma, subgallial hematoma, increasing trachnial pressure, signs, craniosynostosis, cranial cavities, and then uh, to the face look for ob obvious dysmorphic features or abnormalities, general shape of the nose, the mouth, the palate, cleft, or there is cleft uh, lip or palate, chin, uh, normal chin or micro, uh, small chin, uh, low set ear, pre-auricular pre pit or sinus, and red, uh, normal red eye reflex is important to, uh, to examine for initially. Absence of red reflex unilateral bilateral might indicate cataract or neuroblastoma. Then examination of the neck for any masses, range of movement, and then detailed examination of the chest, heart, abdomen, and like us, they are already uh, given in the lecture, lymph nodes, anus, and rectum. And then examination of the chest, as I said briefly, we talk about cardiac examination, heart rate, any murmurs or other, respiratory examination, respiratory rate for, and then um, uh, inspection, and usually um, we are not doing the percussion, uh, palpation might be beneficial, might not, but auscultation uh, also is important. Chest deformities by inspection, any deformity, any scar, any bulging, uh, any mass. Uh, then abdominal examination, umbilicus, whether there is hernia, granuloma, uh, umbilical granuloma, or umbilical infection, or called omphalitis. A palpate for hyperspermigaly, any hernias, uh, ascites, femoral pulses, palpated over the femoral pulses, and compare it with the upper limb pulses, uh, where there is delay in the pulses, might indicate uh, coarctation of the aorta. Genital examination is important for patency of the anus, which could be low type or high type, and 
it's important to exclude early. Uh, external genitalia examined for male and female. Position of the testis male. Position of the urethral meatus in the male is important for epispedias, hypospedias. And then ex examination of the extremities, I said for, for digits, synodactyly, polydactyly, symmetrical movements of the limbs, extremities, examination of the trunk and spine for ventral suspension, which, uh, which is indicate hypotonia, spinal dysraphism, and other uh, um, spina bifida or other meningomyelocele and other uh, abnormalities in the back, nervous system in neonates, including posture, tone, neonatal reflexes, Cleaning nerve examination can be done in neonate, uh, and most of the clean nerves can be examined even in neonate. Spontaneous movements is important. Peripheral nerves can also examine uh, can also be examined. Uh, the every newborn baby should be screened for signs of hip instability by Ortolani and Barlow uh, test. And finally, uh, reflexes primitive reflexes should be done in neonate because they are important, whether well, they are unilateral, bilateral, absent, exaggerated, including usually we do protein reflex, suckling reflex, moral reflex, tonic neck reflex, grass reflex, and stepping reflex. And these are the history and tips in your examination, and thank you very much.